On this episode of This Is Africa, we're back in Zambia where we discover a magical place that we call Narnia. And what a magical place it is. How magical? Well, you're gonna find out. Swift Bullet Company presents This is Africa. So Nania was a spot that York and I found on day two. It is just, uh, it's unbelievable. I mean, it's almost like a, its own ecosystem in the middle of nowhere. It's a real green area with real deep water. It was like, uh, you, can, you couldn't have dreamed it up. Good shot. Smoked it, right? Smoked him. Take this water. <laughs> no smoking time. Well done. Beautiful bushbuck. Yes, it's a beautiful spot. It's in the middle of this jess. Everything's coming down. I think you should have big water here. Why did you fall in the mud? Straight on the mud. That's as many that swift smoked it, eh? Swift A-frame, great bullets. So this is the Chobi bushbuck. So he was warning the mud as like a territorial dominance display. They like to hang out in this thick jess, and then obviously they come down to these little, little swampy areas to drink and to rub their horns. And they're quite territorial as well. You see these beautiful colorations on them. They vary in from orange to black to, to brownish. Beautiful. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, the troop of baboons going mad. Huh? Beautiful bushbuck. Yeah, being with your best buddies out here, it is absolutely more about the experience than just killing something. 100%. Wait, 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 don't move. Don't stand up, Andy. Footy's gonna shoot. You're gonna shoot it off my shoulder. Just let them walk, let them get settled. I'm, I'm shaky. I've always been like that my whole life. I get it from my mom. My, I'm just, my hands aren't steady. So once in a while, it's a struggle for me to, to get that perfect shot. Don't touch the trigger, I'm taking it off. Get you live, eh? Yeah, which one is it? Far left. But wait for him to turn broadside. Just wait, wait. Broadside. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Okay. Wait. Wait. Can you see the one at the back? Footy. Wait. Look with your eyes. That one. The middle one. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Not a good angle. Not that one. The one walking. Not yet. Let him turn, eh? Take your time. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I'm putting you back on safe. But 
Look at that tree right at the back. There's an oak sitting like in a chair. Lean in the back, you see him? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is a National Geographic spot right here. Can you believe it? All these little monkeys just are watching us do our thing. Amazing. Very cool. Nearly a warthog there. Matt didn't, uh, yeah, didn't waste his chance there. How was the shot, Matt? It was great. It was great. The 270 worked well and the Swift A-frames did a great job. Went right down. And beautiful bush buck ring. In his tracks. Yeah, good job, buddy. And then, yeah, we came up and saw the bush buck and then the war dogs came in and uh, Footy almost got his chance on the war dog there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, in amongst the chaos, I think they sniffed something was amiss and took off. But uh, what a beautiful morning and looking forward to the rest of the day. This is Africa is brought to you by African Sporting Creations. The bullet, the least expensive, most important part of your hunt. It's the only contact you have with the animal. Swift bonded core technology provides great accuracy, controlled expansion, high weight retention, and deadly terminal performance. Swift A-frame, Scirocco, and the new breakaway solid, all bullets without equal. Available in components and loaded ammunition. Contact swiftbullets.com for product availability. This is Africa is brought to you by the Houston Safari Club Foundation. One of the many benefits of hunting untamed Africa is that you never know what you're going to find. The discovery of Narnia was such a blessing. It was so quiet and peaceful and game rich. We all knew immediately that we had to hang a leopard bait in this magical spot. There's a lot to leopard hunting you're always trying to one-up them. Like, there's so many factors that are built into it. It's just, I love it. It's just, it's unbelievable. Gito and Sonny Boy, they're the same way. I mean, they put their passion into it. You can see the passion they have for it. I mean, you're always laughing and smiling and, and of course, playing games. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. How's the flies? Oh, the miserable little bastards. <laughs> Are they irritated? <laughs> 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 Good one. <laughs> it definitely has. You gotta have confidence in this game. I mean, you just can't. There's, there's, there's too much stuff that can go wrong. I mean, you, you gotta trust your pH. It's got nuts. Bull. See how sunken in his back legs are? Obviously with the moon he's been mating. So he's got no weight to him. But if you look at his head, it's got that round like nose, yeah? Build a uh, blind for this cat, eh? No, I think it looks quite, quite a nice one, eh? Mm. Hopefully, he comes in early. Yeah? Yeah, I always say to him yeah, on a big hunt like this, they're always like, York, make sure you keep an eye. And he does, you know. Oh. Busy checking a bait here that's been hit by a leopard. Looks like a nice cat. Busy preparing the shooting lane and the and the blind. And these three young bulls have walked in. Not worried at all. 
pretty awesome. Folks, it's all happening here. This is like the garden, it's like Narnia. I think we'll call this place Narnia. Everything lives here. Very nice. I'm excited. Go this side, this side. Take your time, put it in behind the shoulder. Okay, wait, let's walk up. Well done. Uh, so we had a male leopard feed last night or early this morning that you saw us building or preparing everything for. But the meat was quite bad so we just want to quickly put this impala up so that tonight he's got fresh meat. And then we'll see what he does tonight and then finish building the blind tomorrow. This is Africa is brought to you by Swift Bullet Company. I hunt for conservation. I hunt for tradition. I hunt for empowerment. I hunt for the challenge. I hunt for the adventure. And I hunt for me. This is Africa is brought to you by Pulsar. Baboon, I can sit and watch all day. We've just pulled up to this leopard bait where we had the male feed, and you know, the leopard came back. Very nice cat. Mm. Quite thin, though. obviously, been mating for a while. So he's sleeping right here in this, in this video on the camera, right where my foot is there. It's always good to get a second camera up and get a better angle. But he ate a lot, which is nice. And then the guys are just getting all the grass ready and then we're going to get the blind together and then we'll see what the plan is from there. So whilst we're busy building the blind and checking the, the camera, the card, we can hear a bushbuck barking, so I don't think this, bush, this leopard is very far. Larry and I were just chatting now, 
And it must be quite close here, it can't be that far. And it's got everything at once, water, food, thick bush. So he's probably a couple of hundred meters away. So we're gonna try and do this as quietly as possible, as quick as possible, and then get out of here before we come back in the evening. Just let everything get nice and relaxed again. Folks, it is hot. Excuse my sweating. I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about the, the blind setup. So the bait obviously is in front of the blind. The blind is positioned so that the wind is gonna push from our blind to the left. The leopard we believe is coming in and out from the other side of the bait. So how the setup works is we do a walk-in and what a walk-in is is a, a path that's cleared from about 30 yards behind the blind so that if the leopard doesn't show tonight we'll have to sneak in here early tomorrow morning hopefully undetected sit and wait for the sun to come up. There's, it's been swept, there's no leaves on the path and that'll mean a nice silent approach up to the blind. The blind has also been swept so that when we get in the blind there'll be no crunching of leaves. Matt has got an armrest that'll help for his elbow on the gun. Hopefully it'll be as steady as can be so that when he does have the opportunity to take a shot on this beautiful leopard, it'll all go to plan. Fingers crossed. That's how it's supposed to play out, but we never really know because this is cat hunting and nothing is guaranteed with cat hunting. So I'm excited, always very excited hunting leopards and uh, this is no different. Let's see what happens. Fingers crossed. This is Africa is brought to you by Ride On Optics. The Houston Safari Club is for anyone who likes to hunt. It's for the love of the outdoors. It's to give all of us as individuals a voice. Ever wanted to hunt whatever, wherever in the world, somebody in the club has done it and can point you in the right direction. We have met some of our very close friends through Houston Safari Club. I love the Houston Safari Club. I love the Houston Safari Club. I love the Houston Safari Club. Join the Houston Safari Club Foundation to increase your knowledge of the hunting world. This is Africa is brought to you by Swift Bullet Company. They're coming in straight to the bed. I'd rather they stay where we can see them than them disappear. I mean, elephants are always, I mean, they're massive. I mean, they're just, they always get your, you know, your blood going for sure. Uh, and, you know, I mean, you, you, you're tiny compared to them. I mean, they're just, I mean, they're rubbing themselves on the trees and, you know, getting all the parasites off themselves and breaking branches like, I mean, it would take a chainsaw to, to break a branch the way they do it with their trunks and tusks and it's unbelievable.
covering his body in mud so that he can lick and dry and then he can go and rub on the trees, get all the parasites off. Also cooling his body down. Very exciting. This is Africa, folks. I love this. Good shot, buddy. <laughs> and Maddie, you did a great job. Thank eh? you. Oh. You smoked him and he came running straight towards the blind. Yeah, yeah. I, I picked him up at the bottom of the tree with a camera, as you guys saw, uh, saw. But as he jumped into the tree, I lost him and Matt was quick on the take. So it all turned out well. The most important thing is we got our, our daylight leopard that we came for. And uh, yeah, I think Matt did a wonderful job. Yorkie always does a good job with the cats. He's awesome a, job. Very good hunter and his team is amazing. Um, yeah, thanks guys. Also two more, all the guys from behind the, the camera, Valerio, um, yeah. he's been behind the scenes the whole time. So thanks Valerio, thanks team. Well done, it's always a good team effort. And once again, another successful hunter. Well exactly, done, Matty. Yeah. Thank you. Good job, good job buddy. Well done, Andy. Well done, boys. Well, Narnia, you really did produce the goods. Folks, if you've dreamed about hunting a leopard, Get hold of me, Andy, at TIA5.com or visit the website www.tia5.com. Folks, we'll see you right here next time on This Is Africa. Next time on This Is Africa, three quirky friends battle age and the elements through tough hunting conditions to find success in their emotional final chapter in Zambia's Luangwa Valley. Oh,